Feel free to submit questions throughout the presentation and I will answer them at the end. So to give you a little background, the Houston-Galveston area has been classified as an ozone non-attainment in part due to our hot climate, thriving industry, and humidity. Already classified as a non-attainment for ozone, which in high concentrations can cause respiratory distress and trigger heart conditions. As the region grows, we have to ask ourselves how we can improve this situation. The Commute Solutions and the Clean Vehicle Programs are critical to reducing ground level ozone in the region. The Commute Solutions Program promotes alternatives to single occupancy vehicle travel, such as transit, telework, rideshare, vanpool, and compressed work weeks. The goal of the Commute Solutions Program is to be a one-stop resource for both employers and employees. The Clean Vehicle Program provides funding to accelerate fleet turnover for heavy-duty vehicles. They also provide funding for engine retrofits and um, <laughs> so that brings us to the question of how do we solve this problem? Well, our solution is to become a clean air champion. The Clean Air Champion program was established by the Houston-Galveston Area Council to recognize organizations with operations in the Houston-Galveston-Brazoria non-attainment region, which have taken proactive steps to improve the region's air quality. Joining the Clean Air Champion program is free, and the best part is many organizations may already qualify. The purpose of this program is to reduce traffic congestion by reducing single occupancy vehicles. We want to reduce vehicle trips and mobile emissions, thereby improving air quality within our region. Putting more people in fewer vehicles will go a long way towards easing the pain of commuting. The Houston-Galveston-Brazoria non-attainment region is comprised of eight counties, Harris and the seven adjacent counties, Brazoria, Chambers, Fort Bend, Galveston, Liberty, Montgomery, and Waller. Eligible applicants include companies, public agencies, local governments, other interested and any other interested parties with operations in the region that I just mentioned. Anyone willing to provide HGAC with the information necessary to estimate the emissions reduced as a result of their program is eligible for Clean Air Champion recognition. The Clean Air Champion program is changing the way we do business in the Houston-Galveston area by raising employer awareness of simple and cost-effective ways to reduce emissions and by publicly recognizing employers who provide us with the information to document their emission reductions. So I ask that even if you've already been recognized as a Clean Air Champion, or if you are not seeking Clean Air Champion recognition, I would ask that you review the Clean Air Champion application and just look at the different ways that you can easily and cost-effectively reduce emissions in the region. We've divided our Clean Air Champions into two categories to make it easy for the applicants. Clean Air Clean Air Champions for Commuters typically are organizations whose employees commute to an office-based work environment. Office-based organizations include professional firms and plant or industrial operations and can become Clean Air Champions by offering commuter benefits to employees. The Clean Air Champions for Fleets are typically organizations whose primary business operations are fleet-based. Fleet-based organizations include firms whose employees drive regularly as part of their job, such as firms and gain engaged in transportation, construction, on-site repairs, on-site sales, or consulting. If your company is fleet-based, you can become a Clean Air Champion for fleets by adopting clean fleet policies for on-road vehicles or for off-road equipment. Remember, we do not expect every organization to do everything. We're not asking you to be a superhero, we're just asking you to do your part. One way that companies can go about promoting commute alternatives is by supporting alternative transportation for employees. A way to do that is just allowing employees the flexibility to arrive a little late or a little early so that they can catch the bus, um, or having employee membership in a car share program, providing pre-tax transit benefits, which is run similar to flex benefits, providing proximate commutes whereby employees work at the work site closest to their home, or by having membership in a transportation management organization. Another very good way to promote commute alternatives is to offer compressed work schedules, such as 980s, 410s, or 312s. With compressed work schedules, employees work the same number of hours, but in fewer days. Another good way to promote commute alternatives is to allow employees to telecommute when appropriate. 
You can also subsidize the cost of vampular transit. This is an example of when of a mutually beneficial solution. And what's good for the employee is good for the company. Employers are able to provide transit and vanpool tax-free benefits to their employees, up to $245 a month. The employer pays the cost of the transit pass or vanpool seat and is able to deduct the cost of providing the benefits. Another option is providing parking cash out, where an employee who agrees to not bring their vehicle is paid for the value of the parking space before going. You can also promote ride sharing to employees by encouraging them to participate in the New Ride program by visiting www.newride.com. New Ride is an online green trip community. It helps you find people to share rides with as well as to bike and take walks with. Anytime you record a greener trip on New Ride, you earn points for discounts at Chipotle and other local retailers. Another way employers can help employees is by providing on-site amenities, providing bike racks, lockers, or showers. There are many ways to go about implementing clean fleet policies as well. You can either accelerate fleet turnover via the clean vehicle program, the CHIRP program, or the drayage loan program. You can use alternative fuels such as propane, natural gas, or electricity. You can adopt vehicle maintenance procedures that minimize emissions. You can install engine retrofits, offer clean contracting incentives for construction, adopt a no idling policy and enforcement resolution, establish alternative fuel infrastructure, or promote trip bundling to minimize BMT, or you can apply, well, sorry, or you can provide hybrid or alt fuel vehicle for business travel to employees. So how do you apply to become a clean air champion? You can apply online at www .mysolutionis.com. To see if you qualify for the Clean Air Champion designation, go to the HR Management tab, select and select Clean Air Champions Become a Clean Air Champion. Once you get to that page, you can either select the Fleet Clean Air Champion application or the Office Clean Air Champion application in the lower left-hand corner. Once you've selected the appropriate application and completed it, you just submit it online. And once we've received and reviewed your application, we will contact you and confirm that you qualify for Clean Air Champion recognition. The Office Clean Air Champion application is about four pages long if you are to fill out the printable version. And the Fleet Clean Air Champion application is about five pages long. For those of you who would prefer to have a hard copy, please contact me at katrina.bear at h-gac.com. I'll be glad to email it to you. If, after submitting your application, you do not hear from us within a week, please contact me at 832-681-2557 or by email to confirm that your application has been successfully submitted. The Clean Air Champion program is a recognition program, first and foremost. Newly, newly designated Clean Air Champions will be presented with an award at the 2013 Best in Motion Clean Air Action Leadership Awards Luncheon. Thursday, September 19th at the Renaissance Hotel. One of this year's luncheon speakers will be Dr. Charles D. Frazier, Chief of Congenital Heart Surgery and Cardiac Surgeon in Charge at Texas Children's Hospital. Senior champions also receive ongoing acknowledgement by being listed annually in the Houston Business Journal, being provided with a website widget to promote your Clean Air Champion designation, and being provided with opportunities to receive additional recognition via case studies and interviews. Currently recognized Clean Air Champions are also listed on the Air Quality website, and you can see them by going to www.mysolutionis.com. There are also employer benefits to promoting commute alternatives. Employers who promote commute alternatives and provide transit subsidies see reduced employee absenteeism, improved employee productivity, improved employee retention, and by offering a more competitive benefits package, it helps your organization recruit the best and the brightest. Employers can also benefit from potential tax savings. Employer benefits from implementing clean fleet policies include the cost savings from switching to alternative fuel, decreased fuel consumption due to anti-idling policies, the potential to receive grant assistance, again, through either the Clean Vehicle Program, the Texas Emission Reduction Program, also known as the TERP Program, or the Drayage Loan Program. 
Accelerated fleet turnover leads to lower maintenance costs and provides a competitive advantage when wooing customers. By having newer vehicles, your fleet should be more reliable. And what customer wouldn't choose the green option? Employees benefit when employers promote commute alternatives by having reduced stress, by reductions to the amount of stress, time, and money when they reshape their daily commute. This improves morale, increases productivity, and transit subsidies serve as a tax-free pay raise for employees. Do you want your employees stuck in traffic or do you want your employees in the office? That's the real question. Employees who didn't have an hour-long stressful commute are going to come to work geared up and ready to work, not already distracted and upset by the commute they've gone through on the way. In short, everyone benefits. So apply today and join the more than 90 current organizations recognized as cleaner champions. There are cleaner champions from every industry, accounting firms, law firms, oil and gas companies, local governments, nonprofits, energy providers, transportation providers, engineering firms, stores such as Palais Royal, hospitals, and many others. All of them found a way to be a champion, won't you? Maintaining your designation as a Clean Air Champion is very simple. The only requirement is an annual update. The online application incorrectly states that we require a quarterly update. However, we merely require an annual update. So HGAC employees are happy to serve as a no-cost resource to help answer questions about implementing and maintaining commuter benefits or clean fleet policies. If you continue to tell us what you are doing, we'd be glad to continue to highlight your contributions. At this point, I'd like to answer any questions that anyone may have. Well, um, feel free to type any questions if you have any. At present, we don't have any. My contact information is listed above, and I look forward to hearing from you. I very much hope to have an opportunity to recognize your organizations as Clean Air Champions. All right. Well, we've still not received any questions. So. Oh, one second, I think we might actually be getting one. Yes, you can get a copy of the PowerPoint slide. If you visit the website, it will be available on www.mysolutionis.com. I'd also be happy to email you a copy as well as copies of the applications at your convenience. The approval process is typically less than an hour. The reason I ask you to give me, to provide a week is because um, staff is frequently both in and out of the office. But if you haven't heard from us within a week, please contact us because the approval process takes very little time. Companies that apply for a Clean Air Champion designation don't have a firm deadline for meeting their goal. We ask that companies implementing the programs try to, try to complete implementing the programs they've told us about within a year. But it varies on a case-by-case -case basis. And I'd be happy to discuss that with you individually. All right, well, thank you all very much for attending. I hope I was able to uh, provide you with some important information. And I look forward to hearing from any of you. Again, my phone number is 832-681-2557. And my email is Katrina. K-A-T-R-I-N-A dot Bayer, B-A-Y-E-R, at H hyphen G-A-C dot com. Thank you so much. And remember, you can see this presentation at your convenience on our website, www.mysolutionis.com.